Okay, so I'm Caleb Jefferson. I'm Raul Benny Dank, apparently. I'm Josh Vasquez. I'm Marcus Thomas. And this is the uh, Supreme Law of Rocket New Tech. Okay, so the preamble. We, the people of Rocket New Tech, agree to follow the three pillars, trust, respect, and responsibility to maintain the culture and future appearance of Rocket New Tech. We agree to follow these terms as long as we are in the program and well after our release or passing out of the special community our facilitators have prepared for us to better ourselves in the near, fu near or far future. Um, well, the rules, uh, we have four basic ones. Be prompt, be prepared, and be polite and productive. And be prompt just means to be ready, come to class with a pencil, don't slack it, and be prepared. Okay, so prompt is like you always want to be on task, you know, you want to get your work done, you want to be efficient with everything. And be prepared is more of a, like pencils, having all your utensils, your materials, everything you need for class. And then polite is, you know, showing manners, you know, when you get your lunch from the cafeteria ladies, say thank you or say excuse me when you hit someone you and you sneeze, stuff like that. And then productive, always have your work done or be working on it on, like, in class time or when you're supposed to be working on it. All right, for the feedback, uh, for, uh, feedback for new and new tech, all students have the right to grade how they feel or accordingly to what happened during the project. And since you have three pillars, we hope to follow, uh, we, uh, we hope you follow. We hope you follow to get the grading done as best as you can by being trustworthy, responsible, and respectful during feedback evaluation. Okay, so uh, with the grading, the best you can, trustworthy. Don't lie about someone's grade, you know, like actually tell the truth because you don't want someone to get a grade. Like, let's say Martrice didn't do something, don't give him 100 for him not doing anything. Responsible, like the same thing basically, and then respectful, like don't give him a zero just because you don't like him. Given the grade they deserve. All right, so community, um, as you guys know, we need uh, 120 hours to graduate, and some few ways of getting those hours are by joining clubs, activities, or easily just going to your community center. Also, by doing the hours necessary, um, you help out your community either way. You help, like in the clubs, for example, you can go help. Um, for an example, in our the thing we're doing in ROTC, we sometimes we go out and help out with the veterans. And easy, and it'll just make the community look better. So you can smile with the others. Key club in the Garden of Hope, first. All right, a few other clubs. Mm -hmm. And thank you.